Hi, this is Tiffany Howard, and this is Listen to Your Own Yes. People are always telling us that we can't do this, we can't do that. No, 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 no. I want to be an actress. No, no, you don't. I want to be a lawyer. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Whatever it is, whatever you want to do, I'm sure you've heard someone tell you, no, you can't do it. No, you're not good enough for that. No, you don't have the money to do that. Oh, it takes a little bit more of education and you don't have that. No, no, no. Take it from me. It's crap. Listen to your own yes. I've done that my entire life and I've never regretted it. You see, I understand something that probably you don't understand or other people don't understand. Most people don't understand. That one day we will leave these bodies. I know you know that you're going to transition, but do you really understand what that means in terms of now, in terms of your life. One day we will transition, we will leave these bodies. We won't be on this physical earth anymore. You won't get another opportunity. So this is it. Unless you have to come back another lifetime. I believe in that. You may not believe in that. But for me, I've chosen to do everything that I want to do in this lifetime. I have nothing to lose. Nothing. I listen to my own yes. So do you understand? That if you're doing something that you don't want to do because you've listened to someone else's yes and not your own yes, you're probably miserable. You're probably unhappy. You're probably one of those people I see walking around the grocery store, on the street, dead on the inside. And you think that people can't see it. Some people can't because they're ignoring it because they're dead too on the inside. But I notice it. And it hurts my heart that I can't do more to help you to understand that your unhappiness is created by you because you've betrayed yourself somewhere, because you've listened to someone tell you, no, you can't do something, when in your heart, you know that you can, you know that you want to, but you followed these bullshit rules that other people have imposed on you. I refuse to. I listen to my own yes, and today, I'm trying to inspire you with all my might, with my energy, with my love to listen to your own yes. I remember when I was in high school and I applied to the University of Southern California, USC in Los Angeles. And that's the only college that I applied to. I was in the top 10% of my class. I knew I could get into USC. And my guidance counselor, she knew I could too, but she was much older. You know, old school. Believing you, you have a backup plan. So she said, Tiffany, you should apply to Texas A&M or University of Texas. Well, I had already been um, admitted, automatically admitted to UT. Great. I didn't want to go to UT. Texas A&M, my guidance counselor, 
submitted an application for me. She applied for me. And I got a five-year scholarship to Texas A&M. But I didn't want to go to Texas A&M. I wanted to go to USC, right? I didn't have a 4.0, but I was in the top 10% of my class. I was in student government and outgoing and played soccer, but that still didn't matter to me what I knew about myself was that I was good enough to get into USC and that I was going to get into USC. I just knew it. I didn't know anything about visualization or manifestation. I was in high school. I was 17 or 18. But every day I knew and I thought about it. I'm going to USC. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought about being in Los Angeles every day that I'm going to that school. I'm going. I'm just going there. I will be accepted. And I remember my best friend at the time, she applied to USC and she was accepted before I was. And she told me it'd be in a large white envelope. But I hadn't heard yet. But I didn't doubt. I didn't give up. I knew that I was going to USC. I knew that I was good enough. That was my yes. I said yes to myself. And I told my mom, Mom, I'm going to USC. And my mom loves me so much. And she could only think beyond the data that she had collected in her life. And in her mind, I couldn't get into USC. That I'd be in Los Angeles and it was dangerous. That I needed to be home. So she told me to apply to Concordia in Austin. It's a two-year two college. I didn't want to go to Concordia. To me, that wasn't good enough for me. Not saying that I'm better or than someone else. I knew what I wanted. And that was USC. And that was the first time I had an argument with my mother. <laughs> and I know my mother was doing the best that she could do. She didn't go to college. So she had fear, her own fears, and she projected those onto me. But I didn't listen to that. And I told her I would not go to Concordia, I would not go to UT, I would not go to Texas A&M. I was going to USC. You see, even at that age, I listened to my own yes. Some say you have to be born with it. It has to be in you. I can't motivate you. Motivation comes from within. You have to motivate yourself. But I can inspire you. And my message for you today is listen to your own yes. What do you have to lose? Failure? There is no failure if you try. There's only failure if you don't. Listen to your own yes. And yes, I got accepted to USC. Three weeks after my friend received her acceptance letter, I received mine. And I went off to Los Angeles. And I graduated from USC. And I was told, <laughs> I applied to law school, 14 different law schools, and I didn't get accepted. No, I got one, um, what they call that, you, you, uh, you go to summer school and if you do well in summer school then they would admit you and that was Detroit College of Law 
right? I didn't want to go to Detroit College of Law. No, not at all. I wanted to be admitted to law school just like everyone else because I knew I was smart enough. I knew I could do the work. So I applied to graduate school, just one graduate school, and I was admitted. And I succeeded in graduate school. I did extremely well, and then I applied again to law school. And I got admitted to law school. And then while in law school, I wanted to transfer. What did I hear? Oh, you have to have at least the B average to transfer. It's very difficult for people to transfer. You know, you're not going to get in. <laughs> I didn't listen to that crap. I listened to my own yes. And I had better than a B average my first year. I was 25 out of my section of 115. And I applied to the University of Houston, which was my number one choice, and I got in. I didn't listen to people tell me, no, 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 you're not good enough, you can't do it, you're black. I heard that crap too. You're black, you're a woman, you can't do it. I did it. I listened to my own yes, and I'm still at 48 listening to my own yes, and people are still telling me, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't practice law for 13 plus years and then go into a new career. Inspiring people. Writing books. <laughs> I've written five books. I listen to my own yes. I'm about to do a CD, a meditation CD. I'm listening to my own yes. I'm not letting my skin color, me being a female, my age, money, stop me. I'm not letting other people's fears because they don't have the courage to listen to their own yes to stop me from listening to mine. Listen to your own yes. That's my message today. What do you have to lose? We're all going to leave this planet. Do you want to leave with regrets? Or do you want to leave knowing that everything that you wanted to do in this world, you at least tried. You did it. You took action. You believed in yourself. You believed that you were great that you were magnificent and awesome, that you come from the one mind that created everything, which means that you can have everything. But all you had to do was listen to your own yes. I'm passionate about this because I can't take it anymore seeing people walk around with the sadness and the emptiness and the death while they're still alive. See, this is my yes right here to inspire you, to love you, to help you get over those humps and challenges that you listen to. Garbage. I'm listening to my yes. I hope you listen to yours. Spirit loves you. And you have all my love. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.